Perhaps one of the most famous Macedonians in modern times is somebody that few people realize actually came from here. Mother Teresa was born here in 1910 and attended a church right on this site. The church came down in an earthquake in 1963 and this memorial to her has been built in its place. Inside, there's a museum dedicated to telling Mother Teresa's life. This picture here, Skokke in 1910, when she would have lived here. And over on the wall, pictures of her when she was a young girl. This one is, this one is Mother Teresa's mother. Mother, yes, Drana. Her mm -hmm. name is Drana. This is her father, Nicola. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had three children. The youngest one was Mother Teresa, or birth name, Gonja, Agnes, mm -hmm. Gonja Boyajiv. They were, yeah. they, were, they were coming from a very wealthy family. She was from a wealthy yes, family? Yes, her father was a trader. She's coming from mm. a family of jewelers. So a jeweler and a trader. Trade, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this would have been Skopje back yes, then. Yes, so this the is uh, uh, yes, a view from the old mm. bazaar. And it really hasn't changed too much. No, it's sense. not yeah. changed yeah. at all. Normally when we think of Mother Teresa, we think of her as a very old lady. Yeah, very but old. But here we're seeing somebody who's very, very beautiful. Oh, very beautiful, yeah. These are pictures taken uh, right before she left uh, at the age of 18. At the age of 12, she got her first call of God here. She was raised up in a real uh, Catholic spirit. No, mm -hmm. uh, strong Catholic, Catholic, strong yes. Catholic family. Strong yeah. Catholic family. So from 12 years old, she gets the first calling. Yeah. And here she is here, as everyone knows her. Yeah, really. as everyone knows her, with yeah. her sari, yes. So she leaves here, she's a Catholic, she goes to Ireland, becomes a nun. Nun, yes. And then and begins after. her teaching. Yes, in Kolkata, in Kolkata yeah. Mm. And after, when she saw the poverty that surrounded her outside of the walls of the convent, she was very disturbed, and then she decided that she wants to leave the convent and start the order of her Even own. coming from Skopje at the beginning of the 20th century, it's a very simple life in Skopje then, but oh. even she is struck by what she sees in Calcutta. Mm. They were very, um, how should I say, um, um, hum humanitarian, her, mm. her family, because I, um, she said that every day uh, at lunch uh, they had some guests, some poor, uh, um. yes. So, that, so her family would bring poorer people to come and have dinner yes, with them? Yes, yes. So it's almost in her DNA that she was going to go <laughs> yeah, on and, and, and help DNA. people. <laughs> yeah. To help the poorest of the poor. Yeah. But this is her doing her work here in Yeah, Calcutta. this is actually her mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. um, uh, um, the first sister who joined in, in her mm -hmm. mission. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning there were just 12 mm -hmm. sisters and mm -hmm. today there are more than 5,000 sisters. So 5, over 000. 132 countries in the world. So we have four sisters from us there is the order. From her order is still yes, working here yes. today. That's yeah. quite a nice memory to yes. have for the city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are taking care of 11 orphans. So, For a small lady from a city that very few people have heard of, from <laughs> yeah. a country that few people have heard, heard of, of yeah. and even a country that time behind the sort of communist iron curtain, mm. she was creating waves in the rest of the world. Yeah. She was a huge <laughs> person from Macedonia. Huge person from Macedonia. Macedonians are very proud. It's so full of light. Yeah, this is our chapel. Uh, we have, um, and it's above the gallery. Um, you don't expect it either. When you come upstairs, having been in the sort of what was almost a replication of, of Skopje in, in 1910, yeah. to come into this full of light, it's quite a, quite a surprise, quite a shock. I mean, uh, you have that feeling of peace, you know, when you come here. The steel that you see in between the glasses, it's, it's actually inspired by the one of the oldest jewelry technique called filigran because family of her mother's side <laughs> yeah, were jewelers, they were jewelers yeah. Yeah. and if you concentrate and you see more deeply you can see shapes of doves and fishes uh, which dove yeah. is a symbol of holy spirit and fish and the symbol of, of jesus peace. christ yeah. yeah a quick flick through the visitor's book shows the breadth of appeal of mother Teresa, signed in so many different languages here from south korea hearts on many of the pages and this letter, quite interesting, shows the legacy Mother Teresa left behind. It's one of my dreams to visit Skopje. I love Mother Teresa, and I hope to 